Hello, my name is Roland Jung, and I want to talk to you about ePlan Smart Warning. So, Smart Warning is an application for the electrician. Quite easy, you open your Microsoft Edge, you call up the uh, server IP address where the Smart Warning has been installed, and bingo, you get basically this Smart Warning application that starts. You type in your name, so you sign in for um, you as an electrician, and you can either start a new project or you can continue on the last project that was actually worked on. So technically from day in, day out, you work on these projects and it may take a little bit more than just a few hours to finish a project, maybe a few days, doesn't really matter. So here the project actually will show you all the wires that are there. Let me just click here on the word status and you can see that it actually sorts up and down. You can see it by the arrow here. You can also sort by sources, you can sort by targets, you can sort by whatever else. You can also look for a specific device. Let's say I'm looking for a device. I know it's named K3. It will actually show you K3. If you're looking for some devices, let's say CR devices, you can see here some CR devices, some relays. Now, if you only want to look at the source or at the target, you can specify this. Uh, this is actually to limit the search. If you want to look at source and target at the same time, so the search is global, then you can go as is. Now, interesting is, of course, that every single device has always a source with a few information, and it has a target with a few information. Quite interesting is that you can even specify the torque range of the screw. Uh, so for your screwdriver, you can actually specify a special tool. You can say, okay, from this particular pin that you can see here visually, I will have to go in and up to the top and move over to the right-hand side. And that is basically how the wiring will go from this device to the next device. Now here it's quite easy. You just go through the uh, tray that is there and you can check this out. You can see it really in detail. The specific length you can see here is really detailed and it actually comes from ePlan calculating the best routing possibility. And the idea is of course, you prepare this wire 11 inches and roughly a little bit less than an eighth. Uh, you apply the wire tag that is there and then you install. Now, you can install the first side, second side, and you can see the status will then change to green, which is and represents it's installed, fully installed. You can go a little bit quicker if you want to by just hitting this button here on the right-hand side. Bear with me if you are on a touch screen, and this small finger here is actually representing your finger, and you can simply click here and the work is done. You can click on that small eye here and this will give you the details of the target. You click on the eye on the left-hand side here and it will give you the details on the source side. Now, if you want to see uh, the schematics that actually called up for this particular object, you can see it here. You can zoom in using you know, your fingers or your rollers or the plus and minus that you see down at the bottom here, or you can always go back to the full size. Now, if you have no comments to add, perfect. If you have a comment to add, please add the comment with some screenshots, attach any files if necessary, and block the wire, right? Otherwise, just go ahead and continue installing the wires as expected of you. Now, in some cases, we may work with some prefabricated wires. Then it's even more interesting because we could actually prefabricate them and have some bundles created for you. Um, if you intend to work specifically on some color and gauges because you want to handle these components all at once, what you can do here is you can activate the filter and say, you know what, let's work on gauge 14 first because these are different crimps than the gauge 18, right? So you can just handle those ones and do them one after the other. So it's quite interesting actually to see what you can do here. You can reset the filter, of course, that just resets it. You can see here on the top left-hand side, you have a small icon. Typically we have wire jumpers and cables. 
In this particular case, I only have a few jumpers. I don't have any cables to show you. Uh, they were probably already done, so don't worry about them. And jumpers, um, don't worry about these jumpers here. They are not to be considered. Those jumpers here may be uh, considered. They're basically, in this case, if I correctly see where they are, it's jumping two levels together. So two wires that are typically, or two levels that are typically not jumpered together. You can't use a saddle jumper, then I'd be using this kind of wire jumper here, okay? Now going back to regular wires, what else can I do? I can actually search for a specific device. Let's say LT, okay, cool. Now, if I look for a light, I can see that the light actually will connect uh, front to back. And this one is actually a little bit more complex. You may want to go and check it out a little bit more in detail using here the detailed view because it's pretty much telling you that here we go and there you might actually want to go with the transparent view because the transparent view really shows you how from the back side of the door you move across and then you come back in here. Uh, this view also will allow you and enable you to see it. It's a semi-transparent view. Then you can see where and exactly where it's actually connecting from where, right? So this is quite interesting to see and to understand how that works because before you move it back into position, the idea is of course to see which light and where to go through. This is the exact routing or more complex routing it could be useful to actually study that side. There's another thing that is also interesting uh, to a certain point is if you have um, some specific requests. So if you actually know the device tag, you can actually check it out here. But you can also go in here and check out the wires on a specific device. So here, depending on the view that you have, you can actually click on a uh, component and then view more or less everything that is on that particular component or what is attached to that component. There are different ways to work with it. There are also here, uh, this is zoom in, zoom out. It's basically, as you can see, it's it's a cutter. It basically checks for a specific area. Uh, you can go by um, layer here. This is basically one layout. There are different things here you can discover. You can, of course, go with the black view, front view. Um, and, and that's pretty much uh, what, what you need to know on this side. Now, interesting uh, in, in this particular tool is the capability of analyzing if changes were made. So technically, if engineering comes back to you and says, hey, I made some changes, there is a possibility in this tool here to actually update your project. So this means you can revise, import the latest data, and eventually it's gonna come up with things like this where, um, the old value was 33 inches, now it actually increased because they, they moved something. Sometimes you have to remove wires. Here, no, and in this case, none. So these are just updates and you just update them. Uh, this is actually something that is quite amazing because there is no other system out there that I know that can actually live do the analysis of what was installed versus what's not installed and tell you what to remove or what to change, okay? And, and then just continue. So you sort again on your status here and then you just continue as nothing ever happened and you work your way through. Now, if you have more than one panel, uh, more than one panel can be in this project here, then down here you would see the different panels and you can choose whichever panel you want to work on. You can be two, three, four, five electricians on the same job. And as soon as somebody, one of you, actually confirms the installation of a wire, the others will also see it. So you will not stumble over each other and you can just work your way through very quickly. Remember here, the ideal way is if somebody has prefabricated the wires, but of course, having the length Having the details is also something that is nice if you personally have to fabricate these wires. In the ideal world, you use a WT terminal that prefabricates the wires or a wire station that prefabricates the wires and all you do is just do the landing. So you focus on 
placing this wire exactly in the right spot so you can actually see here you know you can rotate you can check it out uh, here rotate see exactly in what hole you have to go the view can be changed so it makes it a little bit easier you know this is a semi-transparent view and this is a, like a solid view so you can really see it on that terminal this is where it goes in just boom, put it in there and then from that point on so once this terminal is done you can go and see where you have to do the alignment to which cable trays you have to go and run to get to that final destination here. And the length, I've tested it myself, is quite amazing. It's pretty accurate. It's, it's, it's absolutely accurate because it really comes from the digital twin. So if you see where it actually is done, I could even go on something, let's say, like... Um, this uh, item here, you can see these are actually the wires that actually go inside the, um, the, the PLC. And you can see how precise they are. Depending on which pin you're actually connecting to, let's say pin four, you will see that it actually really goes into the pin four of that particular device. So it's not randomly picking these connections. It's very, very precise. It moves down, goes down here to the next available tray, moves back up. So I don't even have to do this like this. I can just move it like this and it will show me. You go down, you go back up. And of course here you run into your terminal. You can see exactly there. You can't go wrong. This is amazing. This is really awesome.